Hello children. Let's learn about the coral reefs today. From up above the ground, the ocean looks empty, barren and uninhabited, like a desert made of water. But let's look at it from below the waves as we explore a riot of colors that exists within it. Coral reefs are found in clear, shallow tropical seas. They may look like colorful rocks or plants, but coral is actually an animal. They are hard and soft structures built by polyps by secreting calcium carbonate commonly known as chalk. Polyps are small creatures related to jellyfish. Unlike the jellyfish, which propels or pushes itself forward around water, corals are stationary. That is, they stand still. Did you know that hundreds to thousands of polyps come together to form a coral? It takes a long time to grow, only a few centimeters a year. Would you like to learn about the different types of corals? Some corals look like trees or fingers and so they are called branching corals. Rice corals look like tiny pieces of rice stuck together while smooth corals are smooth to touch. When these corals grow close together, they form a reef. The coral reef is an important ecosystem. But what is an ecosystem? An ecosystem is an environment where plants and animals coexist. Clownfish like Nemo live in the coral reef. Sea turtles like Crush find their food here. Seahorses like Sheldon have their babies in the coral reef. Animals use coral reefs as stopping points as they go from one place to another. Kind of like hotels for sea creatures. How amazing! Sea urchins, sea stars, sponges, sharks, lobsters, octopus, snails are a few of the abundant animals that live together amongst these reefs. A word that describes this is symbiosis. Symbiosis means that the organisms rely on each other for their survival. Let's take a look at the different types of reefs. Fringing reef are the most common type of reef. They grow close to the shoreline. The Ningalu reef is the biggest fringing reef in the world. Barrier reefs are further away from the shoreline. The largest reef in the world is the Great Barrier Reef found in Australia. It's more than 1600 miles long and can be seen from space. Oh, isn't that awesome? Coral reefs are important to planet Earth. They protect the coastline from storms, flood and damage caused by strong waves. But unfortunately, they are getting destroyed sooner than being formed. Overfishing by humans, ocean pollution and warming temperatures have put the world's coral reefs at risk. If nothing changes, then within 15 years, all the coral reefs in the world would disappear. Fortunately, there are some simple things that one can do to protect coral reefs. Be careful not to waste water. Pick up trash that you see on the ground and recycle so that garbage would not find a way to the waters. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. There are so many more marine animals to learn about in this series. So do keep watching.